So today we're going to be talking about how to build a pan tilt camera mount for the sea perch. And so to do this we're going to use a joystick and the end an Arduino circuit board and also two servos. But before we do that there's a few uh, terms that we need to talk about uh, to better explain electricity. So those are voltage, current, and resistance. You can think of voltage like water pressure. If we think about electricity as a water system, voltage would be like the pressure. Current would be how much water is flowing. And resistance would be how hard it is for the water to flow. So like if you had a small pipe, it would be hard for the water to flow. And if you had a big pipe, it would be very easy for the water to flow. And these are all related by the equation voltage equals current times resistance, or V equals IR. So in our circuit, our resistor is a potentiometer. So there's two potentiometers on our joystick. So there's one here and there's one here. So what a potentiometer does is it varies the resistance. So if I turn this, you can see this little knob in the potentiometer move, and that will control how much re resistance there is in the circuit. So we have these three pin connections on our potentiometer. So this is the, the voltage coming in, this right terminal. Um, the left one goes to ground, and the white one sends the voltage um, to the Arduino circuit board. So depending on how I turn this, it's going to send a different voltage to the Arduino. And then the Arduino will interpret that as into position data so that it will know how you're moving the joystick. Um, so the joystick will send the data to our Arduino and so before you start this project you'll need to download the Arduino software and then once you download it you'll go to the link that I'll put in uh, the video description and download the source code and then you'll you'll hook up the Arduino to your computer with this USB cord and then uh, upload the code onto the circuit board. Once the Arduino gets the voltage data and interprets it into how you're moving the joystick it's going to send that data to our servos and it will tell the servos how to move. So that will control how your camera will move on the camera mount. To build this, you're going to need this list of materials as well as these tools. And I'll provide that list in the video description as well. And so at this point, you should have already put the Arduino code onto the Arduino Uno board. And now you'll need to um, strip all of the, the wires that are going to be used in the connections for this. So you see how I stripped the ends of these wires here. And then we'll need to solder all the connections. So I need to solder these three wires onto these three pins. It does help if you use um, different colored wire for this. So I used a red, a white, and a brown, the red being the voltage in, the white for going to the Arduino, and the brown to go to ground. And I did that on both sides. So you'll need to make those six soldered connections. And then with uh, the servos, they only have a short wire so with those, you will need to um, put some extra wire on it to get to the sea perch. So you see 
I made this big coil of wire. I put about six feet of wire to go to the C perch. And so you'll need to solder that extra wire onto um, these wires so that you can get to the C perch. It is very helpful for this if you use solid wire and not a braided wire. Okay, so now we're ready to hook up the circuit. So it really helps to do this if you have a breadboard like this. And then I've made a few short wires to go from the Arduino to the breadboard where we have to make multiple connections into the same, um, same terminal. So to start with, you're gonna put you're gonna go from the five volts on the Arduino, and then I'm putting it in um, this blue line right there, that first line. Um, so with a breadboard, this line is going to have all of the same connection to this. So anything that needs to go into the five volts, I can put in any of these holes at the top. The next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up to the ground. And all of these are labeled on the Arduino as well. And so the ground I'm going to put into this red line right there. The next thing I'm going to do is um, hook up where the servos are going to go. Um, so there will be a red wire on the servo, and that is going to go to this blue line where the 5 volts connection was just made. Um, and then the black one from the servo is going to go into the ground. And then the other wire, the white wire that's on the servo, is going to go into, uh, it's going to go into um, digital zero. So digital zero. Actually, no. This is going to go into digital nine, which is up there. And so the other servo connects up just the same way, except the white wire is going to go to um, digital 10. So that'll go up there just like that. And now you're ready to hook up um, the joystick. So with the joystick, the this, this terminal on the right here, that's going to go to our five volts. The white is going to go into the analog zero pin and then the um, brown wire in this case is going to go to ground. Um, the same thing with the other potentiometer, except the white wire in this case will go to analog one. So we'll go ahead and make those connections.
And all of these connections are also on the circuit diagram that I will um, give you the link to. So once you have this all connected, you're ready to uh, hook up the USB cord to your computer um, to give it power and then test if your servos are working. If they are not working, you'll want to make sure that all of your connections are in place and are secure and make sure that everything in the circuit diagram is uh, in line with what you're doing. Once you have your circuit all hooked up and your servos are working, you're ready to put the servos in a pan tilt configuration. Um, so to do this, I just got a small square piece of plastic um, to connect to the first servo. So I just drilled a quarter inch hole in the center of that. And then I super glued that to this first servo. And then I super glued the second servo to that sheet of plastic. So you'll see that this motor will control the horizontal rotation of the camera mount. And this one here is going to control the vertical movement of your camera. So once you get the servos together like this, you'll want a second piece of plastic. Um, drilling one hole over here to um, attach to the servo and these two holes are to be able to um, zip tie an endoscope style camera onto. So once you get here, you'll take that center hole and you'll glue it uh, onto the servo like that. And then um, your pan tilt mount should be ready to go onto the C perch. You can do that by either uh, gluing it on, you can zip tie it on, or even tape it on. And then you'll be ready to um, have a working camera mount.